In today's video, I have several Dollar Tree wood round DIYs for you that I know you're not going to want to miss. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. I would also like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. And you also do not want to skip through this video because you will find little clues that will enter you into a giveaway at the end of the video. Okay, friends, editing me here is a little loud, so don't mind me. I'm a busy mama, but I realized that I was not very clear on that. So you're going to find clues throughout the video it's going to complete a sentence and to enter the giveaway all you have to do is leave the sentence in the comment section answer the question and then there's more instructions at the end of the video with that being said let's jump into today's diys okay friends just a little disclaimer, I'm a busy mama, everybody is home, so if it's a little loud, that is why. But let's start off with this DIY number one, or with DIY number one, and I take a wood round from Dollar Tree, cut the hanger off, and then I paint it with a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I take my Joy Transfer, the shiplap part of it, and I transfer that on with my brown chalk paste, and then I hit it with my blow dryer to make sure it's nice and dry next I take the joy that comes with that transfer and I'm gonna do like an ombre effect so I take my candy apple red I squeegee that on halfway and then I take my gold at the bottom and then to join those two colors I just take the end of my squeegee and kind of um, like blend those together when you pull back that transfer that is my absolute favorite part to reveal that gorgeous image and then I went into my stash. At first, I was gonna do a different type of greenery, but I ultimately decided to use this lamb's ear garland. I cut that down to size and then glue that down with my Gorilla Glue hot glue. Next, I made a number of different bows for this, you guys, um, and I just did not like any of them. I, I believe I tried like four or five different ones, and I ultimately decided on just this simple burlap and um it's like a maroon color buffalo check i thought it was absolutely gorgeous and it looked perfect on this sign to finish this off all i did was take some berries off of a pick from dollar tree i uh, pulled those apart glued those down around the wreath and literally y'all look how gorgeous this is this would be perfect for shows for gifts so many possibilities. Let me know what y'all think of DIY number one. Moving on to DIY number two, I did the exact same thing. I flipped it over and gave it a distress coat of white Waverly chalk paint. And then I took this um, like song leer or music sheet that's what it is y'all i can't ever find my words can i i take this music sheet transfer lay it down and transfer that on with gold about three quarters of the way um, it would not fit completely across so once i pulled that up i made sure it was nice and dry and then i continued the pattern on the right hand side of the sign Again, I pull back that image. Look how gorgeous this is. It looks like you like this is a piece of scrapbook paper and really you can reuse this over and over. Once that was dry, then I transferred on the Oh Holy Night that comes with it with my candy apple red. And this one is super simple, yet sometimes less is more. And I just love the gold with the red on the white. I absolutely love the way this turned out. I would like to thank my good friends over at HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. As many of you know, I am a busy mama of four. I just had my youngest three weeks ago. So quickness at dinner time is very important for our household to run smoothly. Things can get hectic around here really quickly, which is why I rely on HelloFresh to deliver my meals directly to my door every single week. With the holidays right around the corner, HelloFresh makes it easier than ever to pick handcraft 
handcrafted, chef-inspired recipes that your family will love just like mine does. Not only does that cut down on meal prepping and planning, but it also saves me tons of time from going grocery shopping in the store. I don't know about you guys, but I hate going to the grocery store because I am an empath and I pick up on everybody's energies and it's just a lot. So if I can stay out of the grocery store, win-win for me. The ingredients always come extremely fresh and I love the way that it looks in my fridge. It's just so aesthetically pleasing and organized. Not only that, but saving money is also super important these days. With the holidays right around the corner, I have HelloFresh deliver my meals to my front door because not only do I save 25% by not eating takeout, but like I said, I also save tons of time from going shopping in the grocery store. By not shopping at the grocery store, you're not picking up all that stuff that you don't need since all of these recipes are pre-portioned for you, which I absolutely love. With over 35 recipes to choose from not only is there something for everyone but you can easily customize your recipes by swapping proteins or sides upgrading your proteins or you can even add protein to a veggie meal for us not only was i so tired of making the same thing over and over and over again but my kids are also super picky eaters so i was always making like two to three meals per night now with hello fresh my kids absolutely love these meals and i save so so much time just by making one meal for my family. For us, not only was I so tired of making the same things over and over again, but my kids are picky eaters and HelloFresh has many recipes that are kid friendly, picky eater proof. It's perfect for families looking to try new recipes this school year. So if you guys want to help out my channel and shop HelloFresh, check the link down in the description box below or you can go to hellofresh.com slash allthingscrafty70 to save 70% off. Plus free shipping. That's allthingscrafty70 at checkout to save 70% off. Plus free shipping. And once again, I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. For the next DIY, once again, I take another wood round from Dollar Tree and paint it with my Crimson Waverly Chalk Paint with a Distress Coat. Now, I like to distress coat it, so it's kind of like reverse distressing. Now, I will go in and distress more most of the time, but to start off, I like to do it with a distress coat to eliminate some of that. So then I also take a wood blank tree from Dollar Tree, cut the tag off, give it a distress coat of my white Waverly chalk paint, and then use my gel stain to dry brush all the way around that tree. Now I like to do that in layers. I start off really light handed when I dry brush, and then as I go on and look you know, look at my sign. Um, I go a little more heavy handed until my eyes are happy and I suggest you do the same. If you don't like dry brushing, then you can totally leave that step out. Next, I take this transfer that I had from a um, kit that I got last year from Chalk Couture. It came with a full um, transfer and a Christmas transfer and it was like a double sided sign. So I used the Christmas side obviously. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas and I transfer that wording on with my black chalk paste except for the Christmas I used my candy apple red. Obviously the greenery um, I painted green and I believe that color is pesto. It's one of my favorite greens that we carry. And then I did the little ornaments with my gold and my candy apple red. Now I wanted this to pop off of the sign a little bit so I just took some popsicle sticks cut those down in little pieces and then doubled them up now doubling was not high enough for me so I did do four pieces all together and then glued that to the back of my tree and then glued that to my red wood round Next, I take this little mini star from a pack I got at Dollar Tree, and I used my gold chalk paste to kind of paint it, but with chalk paste, you kind of want to dab it, and then I let that dry and hot glue that to the top of my tree. Next, I used my chip brush that is linked down in my Amazon store. It is always linked in the pinned comment as well as the description box below. But anyway, um, I dry brushed some white Waverly chalk paint all the way around that. Now, I was going to stop there, but I felt it was missing a little something. If you guys can't tell, I am not in my she shed. I am in my kitchen. So, I had this 
greenery from Dollar Tree. And in order to make this look a little bit better, you just wanna cut that down, kinda give it a little bit of a haircut. And then I glued that all the way around and I finished it off with some white Waverly chalk paint to look like snow. Now, if I was in my shed, I would have definitely used like a higher end, a more higher end greenery. Um, I do absolutely love this. My eyes would just love a little bit more, if you will, but I did what I had to do. I was in my kitchen, my newborn was sleeping, and I didn't want to run outside at one in the morning, so I used what I had. I love the way that it turned out. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Okay, sweet friends, moving on to DIY number four, you guessed it. I used one of these wood rounds from Dollar Tree and painted it with a distressed coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Once that was completely dry, or actually while that was drying, I took these pictures from Dollar Tree, two of the chalkboard houses, as well as one of the uh, rectangular signs. And for the houses, I stained the wood with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. And for the picture, I painted the frame with my Crimson Waverly chalk paint. Next, I pulled out my Chalk Couture transfers. This is the house cutouts for Christmas. All of the Chalk Couture items that I used in this video will be in one link down in the description box as well as the pinned comment. Or if you wanna be a part of my text crew, um, you can also find that number down there. Or if you wanna save 40% off all Chalk Couture items, text my number, the word Chalk Couture, um, and I'll get you that info. But I transferred the wording on the sign, and then I also transferred on the biggest house to both of the chalkboard houses. I also took a wood piece from Dollar Tree once again, and I stained that with my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain as well. And then I also glued all of the three pieces down to that wood piece. Lastly, I glued all of those pieces to my wood round, and then I loved the background. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a moon, um, but ultimately I decided to put some Christmas trees back there. So all I did was take my chip brushes, once again from my Amazon store, link down below, and my, I forget what color this is, um, from Waverly, but I take this green color and I just kind of dab in the shape of a Christmas tree. Um, and I did a few different ones to make it kind of look like a tree forest. And once again, once my eyes were happy, then I made two raffia bows with um, regular color raffia and red that I also got from Dollar Tree, surprise, surprise. And I glued both of, both of those down to two of the trees on either side. Once I was done that, I hung it up on the wall and look how gorgeous this turned out. The two houses in the front were from a previous DIY. I can link that in the cards in the right hand corner for you. Um, but I thought that they looked super cute in the front of this. So I wanted it to be a little shelf. You could put a candle, you could put greenery, or like I, like I did, you could put more houses. Let me know down in the comments what you would put on your shelf. Okay, beauties, let's move on to our final DIY. I flipped over the Christmas tree sign and gave that a distressed coat of white Waverly chalk paint. Next, I took my gel stain and distressed that once again, and I also took that same transfer we used in the first DIY and transferred on that shiplap with my black chalk paste. Once I pull that back, I reveal that gorgeous shiplap. I absolutely love the way that it looks. And then I also took this gorgeous deer transfer, laid that down and transferred on the first half of it with my gold paste. I used my green pesto for the little greenery holly and the holly leaves. And then obviously for the berries, I used my candy apple. Once I was, compl once I was done with that, then I finished my deer with my gold paste. 
Now getting around all of those little details was a little bit tricky, but I just took my time. I did the best I could. Some of the spots I had to go over it with the gold, but once I peeled back that transfer, you can't tell all of those little details. It looks gorgeous the way that it turned out. So take your time. If I can do it, I know that you can do it as well. So moving on, I transferred on the little bells or the ornaments, I should say. I just went with all the different colors that I pulled out. Now, these are kind of like Christmassy colors to me. So if you like the candy colors, you could totally do the yellows and the blues. Um, but for me personally, I like the reds, the pinks, and the greens. Let me know down in the comments what your Christmas colors are. Once I was done with the deer, then I pulled out that same greenery from Dollar Tree. I cut that down to size and then gave it a haircut once again. Now for this one, you guys, I make mistakes too. No big deal. Um, all I did was or I cut it too small. So I had to cut another piece, add that on. And then at the bottom, I thought that it was missing a little something. So I pulled all of these gorgeous berries from Dollar Tree and this gold pick. I glued those down on either side and then I made this gorgeous red bow from Dollar Tree ribbon, glued that down to the middle. I also took my white Waverly chalk paint and put some snow all around the berries and the greenery. And you guys, look how absolutely stunning this sign is. I can't ever pick a favorite, but it might be one of my faves this video. I'm also curious to know what you guys think of it as well, so let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning, you're worthy, you're gorgeous, and you literally can do anything you set your mind to. Don't forget to enter into the giveaway. Text my number for Ketones Chalk Couture or to just be a part of the text crew. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.